Hi, this is Roger Eastlick once again, and in this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to set up pay the paper post feature within Wishlist Member. Um, paper post basically is different than uh, the other, the normal way you would do it, in the sense that normally what you do with Wishlist Member or the membership site at least with wishlist member anyway, is to set up a number of levels and then group them under, either by categories or um, by some other type of grouping. And then you would allow people to register to a level or add people to levels and have different groups of um, categories or posts or pages that they can access within that level. And what happens with paper post is that each individual post or page becomes um, accessible and you can you know have people pay for individual posts it's pretty cool and um, one of the things just to start out with you want to make sure always with your um, membership site is that your membership site membership content is uh, protected by default so just to do that um, click on the within the wishlist member dashboard here click on the settings tab and then click on protection defaults protection defaults sorry and then make sure that two things need to be checked make sure that only show content for each membership level is yes and then the default content protection is also on and then save those settings and that way any content you add that you add to your membership site is going to be protected by default and you won't have uh, you 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 know people that if if you forget to set it to the right level or give people access to it, then the worst thing that will happen is they'll come to you and say, "Hey, I don't have access." You can give that to them, fix that problem. Um, you won't be giving away your paid content for free. So back to paid per post. What you want to do there is um, go back to the dashboard for a second. All right. So what we're going to do anyway is we're going to go into let's say a post. Okay, so we'll go to one of your posts that you want to set that you want to allow to uh, you want to set up for paper post, and uh, go ahead and open that post up. And if you scroll down, you're going to notice that um, you've got content protection now since I actually added this content before I, I set the content the default content protection all this is no so you're gonna say click on yes to protect this content if it's not already already checked and down here you can have a pay or per user access do you want to enable pay per post for this content you're gonna click on yes and if you then when you go to set up your payment processor for example PayPal put your PayPal button out there on a web page someplace um, then what you're going to want to use is instead of the level skew which they're going to give you in the instructions they show you how to do in the instructions to set up the your payment in integration then what you're going to do is going to use the SKU for this individual post and if you don't understand how to set up a payment processor, that's really a topic for um, another video. Um, so um, uh, don't, I'm not really leaving anything out here. You, you just need to watch another video on how to set up your payment processor. Um, the next thing that you've got the possibility of doing is setting up the, um, by default this is no, by the way. Um, you have the ability to set this, click on yes for free registration. And that allows you, for example, I've got a site that's, that's called um, bonuscrusher.com. And what happens is people come into that and I manually give them access to particular, a particular bonus for a particular product that they've bought through my link. And so they're not actually paying for it. They are actually getting it for free. So what I do is I give them, let's go ahead and save this, click on update your post so we save the settings and then what happens is that um, I give them this link right here and then when they go to that link they would be given um, a registration form for that particular um, 
post. You know, if they're a new member, so a brand new member comes into your site, you're only going to give them access to one post. You're not going to give them access to a level. They're just going to get access to that one, for example, in my case, a bonus, that one bonus post, which is a bonus for one product. They come in and do this. Now, what can you can do is after they become a member, um, and you want to add them to add them to let's say they come in and buy a second bonus from me or buy a second post you're going to give access to a second post then what you can do is you can actually search for the user um, and I don't know who's in here so I think that I'll put Brian in there search for him so for example this is uh, some material that was from Brian Gardner for the uh, Genesis Studio Press Genesis theme framework some um, um, and anyway so he's in there and so what I could do is I could just select him for example and then he would have access to this post so the first time through you send them to the free registration link for example and then after that or they buy in through the PayPal button or your inter integrator and then the next time after that then if you they just want to you want to add them to an individual post what you can do is you can search for them down here um, and then you can add them to the um, that post alright I think that the other thing you can do is if you go in here back into the wishlist member um, so you can do your your content right and your paper post and you can go ahead and set these to all of these or as many as you want to um, to be paper post okay you just click on here you can set them all to paper post and over here if you want to add uh, free registration links you can go ahead and click on that save it and you're good to go so this has been how to set up paper post within wishlist member. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Roger Eastlick. Have a great day.